Hi there, it's been a while since the last update of Driven by Mars, but now 16.4 is out with a long, long changes list with many, many details. So not the big features, but lots of smaller stuff. And one feature I wanted to show you is now for the Mackey protocol. Many people bug me to also support layers in BitBig. So layers are, for example, in an instrument layer device, you can have them or the more common thing people want to have is the layers or better call that the trumpets in a drum machine. And now you can also control them with Mackie control. So this is here the Behringer X-Touch, but you can use it with any Mackie control device. And so, yeah, how does it work? So you see here three tracks and the first one contains a drum device. And here you can select your tracks as usual. And also here you have the volume and as you have it. And if you have selected now the track containing the drum device or the layer device, you just select it again and then you dive in into the layer look and you can also see them here if you are in a mixer view of Bitwig and click that little icon you see also these sub tracks which are actually not tracks but they are so-called layers or also drum pad layers and you can see them now also here on your controller device and it works basically the same as in the normal tracks mode so you can change here the volume of your sub tracks as well as the panorama of them for example let's check that out i have here a little groove running so you can also mute them say we have only the bass drum going you can unmute them you can also solo something only thing there is no record here so the record buttons do nothing and you can also select them as well for further editing and this makes sense if you switch the mode. So we have also the similar modes as in a track mode. So we have here this panorama mode. You can also go here to the volume mode. You see it here with a little cryptic acronym. So L for layer and this should be a kind of V. <laughs> for volume and we had this here also with a P for the panorama and you can also go in this layer mode where you see all the parameters of the layer so we have here the first one is the volume then we have the panorama and then you have also the sense so you can add for example here a delay on your snare And there's also the send mode, so you can also tweak the delay here for each of the different layers. To leave that mode, you simply press any of the select button, doesn't matter which one, long, and then you are back up here on your track view. Okay, there's another neat little feature I added. I fell somehow in love with button combinations. You can currently press here the knob to reset the value and you can now combine this with the control, the Alt and the Shift one. And if you press the control, it goes to the minimum value. If you press it with Alt, it goes to the maximum value. And with Shift, you go to the middle value. And this works in all different modes. For example, if we let's go here to the Polysynth channel, we have a Polysynth instrument. And if we go here, you see this works as well. So this one goes to the minimum value, maximum value. And here we have the center value. This might be handy for quickly changing some settings. Yeah, that's already it. But I think uh, the, the layer feature is something many people have been waiting for. And until next time, make some funky music.